Good evening, everybody. I'll be with you at nine o'clock. I just want to try and just get a couple of laps in at San Qua before we start. I was an absolute nightmare last night and I am determined not to be that nightmare again tonight. At nine o'clock, I'm going to do my usual little intro just for a couple of minutes and then we're going to get straight into this one pretty quickly tonight. It's a lot more slippery on the uh, on the hard tyres and the mediums. A lot more slippery. I'm hoping that Speedy behind me is on softs, otherwise I'm in trouble. Most people should be on soft tyres. No worries, eight. Oh, this is really hard on the soft, on the hard tyres. Really hard on the soft tyres. The medium, oh, on the hard tyres, the mediums are so much better. I did get a 222 yesterday on the uh, on the mediums, but this is a whole different ball game on the hards. Game of day, good evening. The replay that you wanted has been uploaded and shared, my friend. I couldn't find you in Discord, so uh, I uh, couldn't let you know. corner of that wall there ah this is so hard on these tires bones likes a circuit but he's still trying to get gold on it i don't think i've even done the circuit experience on this one yet For a moment, I'm trying my hardest to get to grips with this track on the hard tyres. Uh, mediums weren't too bad yesterday, as I said a moment ago. I got a, a 222 was my best last night. Uh, admittedly, I think it was a 222.8 or 2229, and uh, I was quite pleased with that for just 20 minutes, half hours work. But trying to get to grips with it on. The hard tyres is a completely different kettle of fish, as they say. Oh, Jack, you sent me a setup. 
Was that via Discord? I've had a, a busy old day today and I haven't, uh, haven't really had a chance to keep up with things properly. I'll have to check that out, my friend. Still sliding. sliding again with these hard tyres. It's a bit better. Where are we? 57. Have I got time for one more? Very quick lap. Although it's not giving me a time, so I'm worried that we've got the same issues that we had yesterday with these lobbies. The time is not ticking up for me as it wasn't ticking up for a few of you yesterday. I don't know what the lobbies have been like today, but I'm worried that uh, it has already died. just get round to the beginning and I'll see if the lap timer ticks up. A few people were saying yesterday that the uh, out lap was a case of two laps um, for some people. So that might be the case here in which case I'm still not going to know what my lap time is for the moment. Oh, oh, it's going to go round. I've got to take it a little bit slower through there when I'm on these hard tyres. Just car does just not have, just does not have the grip on the hard tyres. I found that on the last two tracks. GT Tom, my lap time is not working either. I'm just going to try and get round for a second lap before I drop into the welcome just to see if it does help at all and if we get to the lap timer kicking in on the second lap oh track limits again on that corner very very hard this track on the hard tyres very difficult Right, let's see if the track timer kicks in this time. Yes, it does. So we seem to be doing two laps, two out laps before it actually registers, which I think is a bug. But we're on nine o'clock and I do want to get going. So we'll just have to see what happens. We are just going to have to see what happens. Okay, so we are at nine o'clock, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Um, today, we are hoping that we're not going to have any technical issues like we had last night. Uh, last night resulted in doing the San Juan circuit all night long. Um, tonight, I'm hoping to go back to the schedule that we had for yesterday. Uh, but I'm going to tell you now, I've got technical gremlins already because I went into YouTube and I did all my chapter markers and updated the description and put the new thumbnail in. And then when I came to set this 
running uh, this evening, I found it hadn't saved. So uh, I don't know what's going on with me and technical stuff at the moment. Maybe I should just leave the technical stuff alone uh, for somebody else. Uh, but we're going to do Sanqua, um, eight laps and then four laps. So that's the feature race and the sprint race. Then we're going to be heading off to uh, Maggiore West for a Group B race. Uh, then we've got race number 11 and race number one. Race number one I know is Sardegna. I can't remember what race number 11 is. We'll find out when we get there. And then the Nordschleife, uh, this time not in the BMW, it's going to be in the uh, GR4 car. And then we'll do GR3 tomorrow, two on Thursday and one on Friday if, um, if we get to that point. Or we might do it in the Subaru and the Mitsubishi that we're running Friday. Who knows? Who knows? We shall see. Um, lots and lots and lots and lots of people in the chat already i can see uh, captain 420 is in on phase on face is in gamer dan aid bones welcome to all of you i see jenkies in with the new livery on that uh, beautiful bmw it looks really really nice making me think that my livery is a bit fussy now i i quite like the idea of a a cleaner livery one that i can put together a little bit quicker so making me think about my livery a bit at the moment you are um young jenky but uh, yeah, we'll have to see uh, what happens. Uh, Jack Kobe, good evening. Mentioning about the setup you sent me. I haven't seen it. I will need to look that up. Um, Aid likes to track this very technical. Good evening, Aid. Only Ball, good evening. Uh, who else have we got? Jack McColl, good evening. And uh, Terry West is in. Uh, good evening. Just watching. You're welcome, my friend. Uh, Drat Fury's in. Yes, it's Saint, <laughs> Saint Croissant. <laughs> I like that. Um, MC Motorsport, how is it going? It's going well. Hope it's going well with you too. Um, yeah, so that's the setup for this evening. The I haven't got the randomizer on this machine yet, but the good news, the good news about the randomizer is that it is pretty much done. It's pretty much put back together. I've now got to do some bug testing and then I've got to clean up the data. Uh, by that, I mean... I'm going to clean out all of the data for all the races that we've done before because the way that the data hangs together is is very different now in the third version of the randomizer so i'm going to clear everything that we've got that's gone before it does mean that i've then got to clean up each of the weather time of day cars and track data which is a manual exercise to clear out all the times they've been used unless of course i leave them in but I think I'm going to clean all of the data up and then start afresh. So we should have that hopefully over the next couple of days. Um, and then I've got that so that we can pick a fully random race or we can pick one of our favourite races. And it will then save that into a new data table with a new form called daily races. And then on the, um, so we do that the day before. And then on the day, I'll still be able to bring the randomizer up live on the stream and you'll be able to see what the parameters are for each race, because I think it's quite nice for you to be able to see those on the screen, as it were. So uh, that's what I'm working towards. It's taking me a little bit more time than I wanted, uh, purely because I'm just not finding the time to jump on it. Um, but that is just the way that things go at the moment. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy busy. Uh, Ninjasin, good evening. And Greg, good evening. Um, any well, that I was just about to say there is room for you tonight, but we're now up to 16. So I'm hoping you're in there, Greg. Um, Ninja's name isn't green. Your name isn't green because you will have had a um, gifted membership, which is now finished. That's basically what that is. Uh, all of the people that have got uh, a membership to the channel, they're green. Um, the moderators are in blue. Uh, everybody else is pretty much in grey. So that would be why you're not in green anymore, my friend. Um, right. So who have we got in the lobby at the moment? Uh, actually, before I do that, I am going to start the qualifier for this one at 21.10. That gives people a nice 10 minutes just to get going. And that's one of the things I want to do is just 10 minutes of practice, five minutes of quality into the race bang into the next one 10 minutes of practice five minutes quality into the race bang into the next one that is the way that i want to try and get this 
going if at all possible. Reese, good evening, my friend. Uh, so Jack Kobe is in. Uh, David is in. Kuro Sasuri is in. Kuro, how are you doing, my friend? Are you feeling a bit better? I'm hoping that you are kicking that COVID out the door. It's good to see you back racing again. Uh, let us know in the chat how you're doing. Uh, Shumi is in. Gamer Dan is in. Gamer Dan, I did you the, I think you said thank you. I did you the replay. For anybody who wants the replay of San Kwa yesterday, which was a dynamite finish to the race with Gamer Dan and Jack Kobe, it has been shared and you'll be it's been shared with friends so you'll be able to pull that down if you want to review that it's cracking race really really good um jenky racing is in ernie ball is in i'm in map mikey reese speedy b junior's in jackie boy unfazed gt tom and carlos is just joining um a couple of housekeeping things before i get in too much further Please keep things respectful both on the track and in the chat. We're a family friendly channel. Please keep that chat um, clean and respectful on the track. If you do happen to bump somebody and you spoil their race, then please just give the place back when it's safe. So off the racing line, when it's safe to let people back through, pick up the person that you bumped and then race with them by way of an apology. And then just let us know what happened in the chat. And that way we can draw a line on it and move forward, which is really nice. Um, if you do get bumped off or something happens, please don't rage quit. I know one or two of you have got technical issues with gear. We know who you are. Just let us know in the chat if that is the case. If anybody is rage quitting, then they will be kicked. Uh, likewise, um, I'm just waiting for... Uh, OK, we've got all the cars now. Likewise, if you've taken a place in the race and you haven't actually entered with a car, uh, we are going to get to the point where we will be uh, pushing people out the lobby for the evening so that we can make space for people that want to race. And finally, um, yeah, if you want to get my attention in the chat, as Jack Kobe did earlier on with the car setup, please put at PlayStation Racer. It puts a nice orange box around my name, jumps off the page, and I hopefully will then be able to catch that and respond to you because the chat does go through very very quickly these days um we are eight minutes into the stream and i'm already nearly three pages deep of content and two of those pages have gone through without me even looking at it i can just see going off the top there that drat fury has sent me a rash of bacon thank you very much for that um also mentions my shirt and um I just answered Ninja about the uh, the green name. A few people have asked about that recently. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I was a nightmare around here yesterday. Really, really struggled around this track. I've done some work last night with medium tyres, but I am seriously, seriously struggling with the hard tyres uh, around here. The car is just sliding everywhere, trying to get it slowed down on some of these really quick parts of the track but also to be able to carry the speed through the corners is catching me out. I am finding that I'm understeering into the barrier far, far, far too much. So um, for that reason, I'm going to be running the hard tires for the quali, probably starting at the back. And then tonight after the stream, I may well spend 15, 20 minutes just doing a few laps on my own on the hard tires to see if I can get those nailed. Uh, initially, my what I need to do is I need to stick with the pack on the hard tyres. If I can do that and then jump onto the soft tyres on Friday, that's going to be my my strategy again. Right, let's get this qualifying underway, and we'll see how we go. As I said tonight, I want to try and stick to the time if we can. I'm hoping that everything's okay. Just a moment ago, we did have an issue where. The track timer wasn't showing again so i'm hoping that isn't an indication of what is to come but we shall have to see um uh, papa leash welcome to the channel my friend thank you for subscribing um terry west where the bump is i took a wider line to miss it and it worked uh for okay um i should bear that one in mind
young Jenkins got me thinking about my livery at the moment. Uh, my livery is a bit loud, it's a bit in your face, it's a bit busy. And every time I see Jenkins livery, I, I think about how clean and tidy it is. And I really, really like it. As you can see there, straight off into the barrier before we even start. Ah. Really, really, really struggling with this car on these tyres. Really struggling with these tyres on this car. I might try some brake balance fall to the rear and just see what happens. Joe, so I don't want to push the brake balance too much further to the front because it is just going to kill the front tyres in the race and I'm just not going to have the tyres that I'll need for the race so that's one of the reasons why I've gone backwards rather than forwards and just see if we can just drag the back end of this car through these corners. Um, a shout out to Jackie for, not sir, to Jackie, to Jack, um, I apologise, um, to Jack for let me have a uh, tune. I will look at that a little bit later. Um, for the moment, I want to get on with the racing. So um, just going with the bulk standard car set up again, really slow through there. Couldn't even get the power down. So over to the left, then we sweep across the track. Just trying to get through there. I'm not even on the brakes and it just will not even go through there. I mean, people are telling me just to coach through there with no brakes and um, just absolutely. Now he hasn't put out PlayStation Racer, so I'm going to ignore him. But, hello Boosted, there's a comment in there, which is a cracking comment, and um, he knows what that's about, I know what that's about, I don't know that all of you will know what that's about, <laughs> but um, he had me very annoyed for about three minutes until I saw the funny side of something and then I was just in stitches. Um, I got completely had, completely stitched up. Uh, and in fact, I wasn't the only one. There was about five cars all involved with probably one of the best stitch ups that I've seen in Gran Turismo in all of the years I've played it. Um, oh, Cheech, I was boosted. I was boosted good. I was really boosted good. Yeah, Terry, I'm, I'm trying to do that through that corner. The problem I've got on these tyres, it does not work at all. I'm having to completely rethink this with these hard tyres. It is literally like driving this thing on ice. Even coming down into there is just so hard to get it slowed down. So we'll give it another go around this corner. And we'll see how we go. Oh, just still sliding. just slides and slides and slides and slides and slides on the medium tires I've got you on the hard tires I cannot get through there doing what you guys are telling me to do so drag saying brake on the grey bit which is what um, I was doing I was actually braking and coming down in the third gear which was working quite nicely for me Drac but everybody has been saying, don't break, stay in fourth, just let it coast around the corner. 
and that's the quickest way through so that's what I've been trying to do but on the medium tyres it works on the hard tyres oh boy it does not work I tell you what on the hard tyres that little bump shuffles me off to the other side as well Boosted, what do you mean by over circulating? turning in too much oh, I... I am not liking this car around here um, the other thing as well is I have got the um, I've got the traction control off I'm going to go back to traction control one I had the traction control off for um, for the dailies last week in the in the uh, in the Veyron, um, and I did run with traction control full off yesterday. So Terry, I used the same car as you today with the hard, hard no problem brake balance zero traction control zero. Okay, I'm gonna have to. See just how we go. I'm gonna go a bit quiet, guys, just to see how we go on this one. Just concentrate a bit harder. We nearly ran into the back of Junior under brake in there as well. cars into the bridge wall sliding even with a change down to third yeah I'm trying to get on the power too early or something just gonna need to experiment yeah too early on the power I thought as much Cut that one. Yeah, I thought so. Let's 
going to give Jenki a nice easy pass at some point. Tell you what, these tyres have heated up a bit. Wow, that took a whole lap for those tyres to warm up. So much more grip now. Masses amount of more grip. Is that the key around here? Am I just going to have to take it careful for one lap to get the uh, tyres warmed up and then let rip? Could have gone a bit deeper into there. Not quite sure how many laps I can do on the softs, uh, but for tonight, this is all about learning to drive this on these hard tires. So um, I'm quite happy to go a bit longer on the hards. We can work on the strategy another night. down to a 224 whereas we were way up in the uh, way up higher than that yesterday for memory yeah Mikey's good around here I'm actually quite glad I'm following and I've been chased by Jenki as well so I've got two really good races one front one back that's really making me concentrate and work hard so again i could be going quiet in a minute Oh, I've got a bit of a slide on there. Oh, yeah, 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 that's going around. Just try to take a bit too much air. Right, we are still on the hard tyres, so... What car are you in, Jack?
No worries, John. Thanks for letting me know you've got an issue. At least we're getting rid of these silly hard tyres. We'll see how we do on the softs. My car looks a bit mangled. Right, let's go, go, go. Evening Kushti. I think we've got a few people waiting my friend. We're all a bit busy tonight. We janky down the road. Let's see if we can get anywhere close. We're going all right till then. <laughs> oh, more work needed. More work needed. How far is Jenkins? Five point two down the road. It's a long old way. too deep in there need to break a lot earlier for that one just try pushing it a little bit too much
down to 4.7 at the moment, but that's not coming down quick enough. Point zero. Two laps to go. Down to three point seven. Bad I caught the right braking zone there. So 2.4 to David, but it's Jenky I'm looking for. I think Jenky's gone. Hi oh, Wayne. Good evening. Well, we're down to two on David. But, uh, I think Jenky's got a good couple of seconds more down the road at least. Oh no, just getting on the power a bit too early through there. I think cutting, I see some people cut that last corner, but it does seem to unsettle this car quite a lot. And then you struggle to gather it up as you're heading into that corner. So uh, I'm thinking, oh, cut that. Need to go a little bit deeper into that one. Um, yeah, I think I need to just not cut that quite so much and just keep the car a little bit more balanced. Totally different car on the soft tyres this. Totally different car. Still like a little bit of third through there. It just sets the car quicker. One point three to David now. This is the last lap. So one or two little issues in that one has cost me. Over the next day or two, hopefully we can iron those little issues out. And we'll be okay.
Where are we? He's across the line. Oh, catching him. Not close, not far enough though. He's still a second away. Um, Popolish or Popelish. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, my favourite car to run is the BMW VGT. I love that car. Absolutely love that car. So, this is starting to look um, fairly familiar at the top <laughs> of the... Uh, of the uh, on the on the podium at the moment um i am going to save that replay i want to have a look at that back later on uh jack kobe on the top step with a 219.2 gamer dan on second it, with a 219.1 so slightly quicker for the best lap and then slightly better yet again with shumi in third place so that was quite interesting 0.1 of a second quicker was gamer dan in second than jack and again, 0.1 of a second quicker in third for Shumi. Uh, so I think we need to swap them around, really. But there we go. Um, Ernie Ball in the WRX in fourth. Carlos Fandango fifth. Reese in sixth. Jenky Racing in seventh. I made too many mistakes and dropped off the back. Kuro coming back from COVID, doing really well in eighth. David, I couldn't quite catch him in ninth. I got tenth. Unfazed in eleventh. Junior... You got beaten by a 56, 7, however old I am, year old, um, in 12th. Uh, Jackie Boy in 13th. GT Tom in 14th. And Speedy B and Mad Mikey were a couple of DNFs in that one. But your top three, Jack Kobe, Gamer Dan and Shumi with exceptionally close laps. And Ernie Ball is right in there as well with a 219.1. So uh, well done to the four of you for those laps really 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 nice um edit the settings we will dive straight into the sprint race so i am going to set that up and we'll get this one underway um i'd like to get this one underway at quarter two if i can uh, we should know the track so it's not like people are going to need a lot of time to get to grips with things so just got a couple of car changes uh, but we'll go um, quarter two on this one. Uh, I've just noticed that Junior's put up a note in the chat oop, saying, um, where, well, I've, I've missed it. Where was it? Oh, it's going through so quickly. I can't find it now. Uh, Ninja says, can we do GR3 at Le Mans? Um, I've got a full setup this evening. But what I will do is, if I can find a pen, have I got a pen? Um, I'll pop that down for um, for tomorrow. Um, so GR3 at Le Mans. Because uh, what I want to do is find out where that is in the randomizer. Because I know, I think we've got that loaded up. Um, Uh, Jack Kobe's off to load setups. Uh, Baz with the DNF rule, yes. But um, I happen to know that the two of them had issues. So hopefully it is a one-off and um, we won't see them do that again. But I'm afraid that they're both in my little black book for the moment. Um, what's on tomorrow, guys? What 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 is what's happening tomorrow? Yeah, Mad Mikey, you mentioned the PS5 um, had a bit of a an issue. Oh, Ninja says because I spun. Well, unfortunately, that's racing, mate. You still got beaten by a oh, fifty-seven year old. I think I am. No, oh, fifty-seven this year, so I'm fifty-six. I'm putting a year on me. Um, uh, Mad Mikey, no, you're fine. If you're if you've got a technical glitch and you bump out, then that's fine. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get over people that rage quit. Um, that's what I have a problem with at the moment is is, is people rage quitting. Um, if people have a technical issue, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, we just got a lot of people at the moment that get uh, they get into last place or they get bumped off and they rage quitting and it's spoiling it for people. Um, so is ninja is that for the um the nationals or something for tomorrow 
Oh, have I got the settings wrong on this one? Oh, I have. Uh, let's get that corrected for for the rest of the week. Um, let's just make sure. I'm sure, I set that yesterday and saved it. Obviously not. Uh, yeah, if people are doing the nationals or the some special race tomorrow, then let me know and, and we can bump them in. But um, but otherwise, I've got a schedule that we published, and obviously, what I want to try and do is stick to the published schedule because that way people know what they're running and what we're doing. It's one of the things that several people have asked for. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing, um, whilst I don't want to lose anybody, obviously for the GR races, there are a lot of lobbies out there and people have got lobbies open to practice some of the, um, you know, the nations and the manufacturers and, and all of the big races that PD do from time to time. Um, Jenky, you're going to need to be quick, mate. Why is Jenky not in a car? Uh, if not, I am going to bump him out because we, I mean, I won't kick him, but he won't be in this race. Jenky, what are you doing, my friend? What time did I say we were going to go? Because I want to stick to the times I, I'm saying that we're going to go. Let's see, 21.45, it is 21.45. Uh, you're back in the uh, the, the master, are you? Well, I tell you what, you're still pretty blooming quick in it, my friend. You're still pretty quick in it. I think we could put you in that car with super wet tyres on and you'd still win. <laughs> but it's good because it gives us all somebody to chase after. It's good. I love having the quick drivers in here. It makes us all work harder. It really does. Come on. Come out the... Come out the garage. Move. 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 Is anybody else out on track? I'll tell you what I've done. I've done my old trick. I put my controller down after fiddling around with all the controls and it sometimes it'll hold the brake and then I'm just sitting there thinking what's going on what's going on uh map Mikey you've got that wrong mate he shouldn't be in a mini he should be in a Citroen 2 CV6 a Dushava This is only the outlap, so uh, just take it a little bit easy. It'll be, it'll be all right though because um i've been on to halfords and they've got a special little pedal bike that they're building for him and we're going to have it hopefully for friday i've had a chat with jackie dakota and apparently he's in the pedal bike so um we're going to give him a hundred yard head start just to be fair and then um yeah he's going to have the pedal like you wouldn't believe because i'm going to be chasing after him 
and um, it'll probably still beat me. <laughs> oh, I didn't quite apex that one. For a 222 is what I need. And I've got a great little car to follow in front. Can we actually do this this time? little bit too late there need to be breaking just before the kink not on the kink It's all about this corner now. Not this one, the next one coming up. these two right at the wrong time and I went the wall What did we set? What did we set? Not quite sure. 1.6 off the pace is definitely a lot better than being 6-7 seconds off the pace that I was yesterday. So arguably I've just found about 4 or 5 seconds a lap between yesterday and today. Um, so Kuro's just bumped me down to 5th. So uh, Kuro's going to get kicked in a minute. <laughs> no he's not. Um, but we got Carlos is still running, he's quick. Jones is pretty quick too, he's still running. Um, are they gonna are they gonna bump me down a bit further? I, I could end up in eighth here quite easily. Yeah, down at sixth. So uh, I think that's Jenkins just bumped me, I think. Ooh. He could uh, Junior's still running too. I could I could be falling back quite a fair bit on this one if I'm not careful. But 1.6 off the pace is reasonably okay. Um, I did have a comment on one of my um, where are we? Uh, ninth. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth place. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, I did have um, somebody commented on one of my videos that they can get gold on the time trials within about 10 laps. And I had a bit of a giggle because it takes me anywhere between 100 and 200 laps to get to get a gold. Uh, normally, I just settle for silvers. But there we go. 
Uh, right, here we go. Let's get this one underway, underway. Let's get this one underway and see how we do. As always, guys, please keep it respectful. If you do bump somebody and you ruin their race, please just give the place back by way of an apology. Otherwise, let's have some fun. Uh, good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Right, I'm using Shumi's trick for the start to see if we can get a bit of a uh, a little bit of an advantage off the start. So where are we? One light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights, and go! Just caught up on the inside a little bit there. Had to be a little bit careful going through there. Whoa, some people blowing down really early there, even though we're on cold tyres. Boy, that caught me out. Just having to readjust everything here with this traffic. I caught the wall, ever so slightly there. It's um, a bit of a pain. Let's let uh, Jack Kobe get right on the back of me. One thing I learned yesterday is don't follow somebody through that little bridge bit. If somebody uh, clobbers that wall, you're a wreck on a wreck. Right, we have Mr. Kobe to chase down now. Although I think he's probably just going to run away, but there we go. way 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 over to the side there that, that corner still getting the better of me more work needs to be done should probably work on that this evening after the stream Boy, that favour on is quick. All right. David with a slight kiss of the barrier there, you can see the sparks off the doors. Jack Kobe already up into third place and flying. Just 
went a bit deep there. Just caught that one a little bit too tight through there. Again. That's another corner I've got to work on, getting up over the top of the bridge. Half the battle is knowing what we got to what we got to work on. I've got no rear spoiler now, so the car is sliding around. Come on, fix that for me, please. You have to take extra care through here now. I've got no spoiler on the back. It spoilers back right let's get going this track seriously going to need to put some work in on it I promise it'll be better tomorrow it's going to have to be it's going to have to be better I've got a 222 one in there which is uh, encouraging I want to be doing 222 low 222s that was a bit too late a bit over eager to get into that corner unfortunately we followed that up with a 227 guys behind are catching me at a massive great rate of knots
Oh, not good. Got an eighth, but not good overall. I need to be doing better than that. Got to be getting better than that. Oh. The one thing I don't have is fuel issues in this car. But boy, oh boy, it um, takes a long time to switch the hard tyres on. And then I've got to get to grips with these corners. Wow. <laughs> John says, you talking fuel issues, try a Veyron. Yeah, that Veyron is thirsty. It's quick. Very, very quick. Right, let's um, bring this one to an end. We'll review the runners and then we'll get into the random stuff. Uh, and then we're going to probably come back to San Juan a, well, a little bit later on. I didn't mean to do that. Let's just come out of there. Um, I want to go into result. So your winner there was Gamer Dan with a 220.1. Carlos Fandango with a 220.6 in second. Jack Kobe coming from the back, I think. I'm not quite sure. Uh, with a 220.3 for third. Uh, Junior in fourth. David in fifth. Jenky Racing in sixth. Jackie Boy seventh. I got eighth. Again, one or two little issues I had. I've got to, got to get tidier. Uh, Reese in ninth. Ernie Ball tenth. Unfazed eleventh. Shumi twelfth. Speedy B thirteenth. Faz in 14th, Jonesy in 15th, and Kuro with a DNF. Um, not quite sure what that was about, but your top three, Gamer Dan, Carlos Fandango, and Jack Kobe. Um, uh, Jack Kobe says, Dinner about everyone else, but this track is actually class and very addictive. Um, it is, and, and I'm actually enjoying the challenge of just trying to get to grips with it, um, if I'm perfectly honest. I'm actually enjoying the challenge. Uh, look at there. We're going to go custom weather. We're going to go, actually, let's just do this. Um, load settings, and we'll go randomizer races, because I think I've got this one already set up um where are we we are at uh yes we are we're all set and ready to rumble so we'll change the settings in there on this one we are looking for any group b car with racing soft and medium tires racing medium tires are required Racing, mediums are required. And um, I head across to here. And we'll change the car. What car are we going to go with? Ooh, I think it's got to be. I think it's got to be my little, a little focus. I like my little focus. Right, and then we will um, start the qualifier at um, 22, um, 22, 15. That gives people just 10 minutes, just under 10 minutes, just to get themselves sorted out. I am going to head off to the track. Whoa! Boy, oh boy, what was that? Oh, I don't know this track. I do not know this track. Whoa. Okay, that, that's a got your track. That's got got your corner, that one.
Right, this one is one of the fully random ones where the randomizer has just picked out any old car, any old track, any old tyres and thrown it at us. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. I really don't. No idea at all. That's a weird corner, that is. So Jack Kobe says, so do we have to put on this one? Um, I'm not quite sure what Jack means by that. No, straight, straight run. Straightforward sprint race, this one. Oh! Gone too deep. Uh. That's where I need to have the randomizer screen up on the window so people know exactly what we're doing. Right, where are we? It's 10 past. So we will come out of there. We'll just have a little look. Uh, we got 16 runners. We're all in. And I said we'd start at, oh, 22.15. Oh, I've got a couple more minutes, good. Whoa! Oh my word. I think I prefer this car on gravel. Oh. Yeah, Jack, this is going to be one of those sort of more fun races and serious races, I think. I am trying to keep all of these uh, races now sort of semi-serious, but the randomizer one is always going to throw up a bit of a curveball. Obviously, if people are going to showboat, that's absolutely fine, but you're going to have to be careful of the people that are trying to race. So if you're showboating, you're the ones who are going to have to be careful. And I mean that in the nicest possible way.
Oh, what a place to get a penalty. Yeah, Jenky, the, um, if you're trying to race, the showboaters are going to need to keep out the way. And also showboat in areas where they're not going to hit people. Because some of us are trying to race. And some of us at the moment are just trying to learn this track. Why do the penalties need to come off, Jonesy? Penalties are there for a reason. I would be interested to know your reasoning for why we need to ditch the penalties. the track going oh, around here Oh, randomizer, 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 what have you done? Were you just on a wind up Mitchell rant or something?
Oh, oh. Will do, Drake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. I will double check in a moment when I've uh, finished this lap. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. What am I saying? No, I think we are. Well, it depends. The um, you've got to run the racing medium tyres. That was what the randomizer said. I am not sure, my friends. What happens if you just do the whole thing on mediums? Ooh, that's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll go into the settings in just a moment and I'll show you how it's set up and then it's how well we know the um, how well we know the, the, the race so I might actually have just misled uh, Jack Kobe actually So, the event settings for this one, uh, I'll come to this in a moment again when we have finished. So the usable tyres are medium and soft. The required tyre type change is medium. So does that mean that you need to stop and put mediums on? Or does that mean that you can run the whole race with mediums? I am confused. I don't know. I don't know. I tell you what, I am going to go racing mediums with no change. I'm going to see what happens. I am going to see what happens. Right, we've got 16 runners. Let's get this one underway and we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we'll get this one done for around about 11 o'clock and then we'll be straight into a couple of our favourite races. If I can find my piece of paper and I know what I'm doing. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, Ninja says no need to pit. Um, Aid says this may be messy. Uh, I have to say I 100% agree with you. 100% agree with you. If anybody puts a Stewart's Inquiry video on at the end of this one, I am going to personally come and shoot you. <laughs> because anybody that puts a Stewart's Inquiry video off this, well, yes, I think we are all going to get into one or two issues on this one. Uh, 
And my hat goes off to anybody that gets around this without bumping anybody. I tell you that for nothing. See, I've already run into the back of Jenky. Even full on gears, brakes, oh shebang. I've just smashed my gearbox to pieces. Jenky's just been pushed off. I think Jonesy has uh, gone off as well. Oh my word, this is manic. Oh, I've gone off myself on my own. And again. And a bad rejoin right in front of Carlos. Oh, now the car's going round. Oh, and it's a piece. Oh, oh my word. Why on earth did I get reset there? Thank you, game. Okay, this one is not going in a randomizer. Pray tell me, how many more laps have we got to do of this? Got a break so early for that corner. I didn't even get through that one. Even when I break slow, I still can't make that corner. It's effectively a first gear corner. Oh, whoa, that was a bit mad. 
That was a bit crazy. Well done, Ninja. Well done. Oh my word. That was crazy, crazy, crazy. I bet Ninja slid all the way around that one. Oh, I'm going to watch that one later on. Oh my word. What a crazy, crazy, crazy grey. Crazy race. Uh, Aid got reset twice and lost 30 seconds. I got reset as well. So your winner there was Junior in the uh, Focus with a 55.5. Uh, Jack Kobe with a 55.3 in second. Reese in third with a 56.5. Uh, Jenki in fourth. Ernie Ball in fifth. Gamer Dan in sixth. GT Tom in seventh. Carlos Fandango eighth. David ninth. Unfazed tenth. Jackie Boy eleventh. I got twelfth. Speedy B thirteenth. Aid in 14th and Jonesy 15th and Shumi 16th with one minute penalties. I'm assuming that is for tyre infringement. Jonesy did get the fastest lap of 55.2 and um, I, sus well, I didn't have to pit. So basically, so long as you run the mandatory tyre, then all was good in, 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 in Gran Turismo land. Right, we are now heading off to do um room number 11 what is room number 11 okay so room number 11 and i'm going to go through this slowly is the red bull ring five laps we've got custom weather so it's going to be random you could get anything uh we we are starting to sunrise so we've got 15 times uh variable speed time on uh it is fastest first with a grid start BOP is on. Um, what else do we need to know? Uh, mechanical damage is now going to be light. I need to change that. Let me just make a quick note. So room 11 damage. I like damage heavy. Everybody else likes damage light. So I lose out. Um, and uh, we are on. What car are we in here? Oh, that's a very good question. I don't know what car it is. And I didn't make a note of what car. Ooh. Right, guys, this is going to be a bit interesting. You can use whatever car fits the bill. Because I didn't make a note of the car. And room number 11 will be for a particular car in the randomizer. But I've got the randomizer in bits. So I'm really not quite sure. Yes, Ninja, I know everybody literally got beat by a 15-year-old. Oh, this was a Honda. Yes, of course. Jenky, thank you for checking. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is the uh, beautiful, beautiful Honda. Now, if you haven't got this car, uh, go and grab something similar. Um, if you haven't got this car, save up. The money and buy it when it comes into the legends because it is an amazing amazing bit of kit it's absolutely beautiful um if i can find it um i'm gonna go with that one i think or oh, should I go with that one i don't know which one should I go with camel or the lotus i'm gonna go with the camel today as you can see a few people already got it Unfazed, what is a similar car? There really isn't one. There isn't anything close. Um, what tyres was it? Tyres, 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 tyres. Um, sports tyres. Any sports tyre that you like. Again, not my preference. Um, with regards to cars... Oh, crikey. Anything that fits, really. Uh, I'm just having a little look down here. So I've got a, a BMW 3 litre CSL. Fits the bill. Um, what else have I got? I've got a, uh, a Copen RJ. Fits the bill. The Daihatsu. That's going to get monstered by this car. Um, you've got the Sierra S Cosworth. I don't know if any of these cars are going to stay with this car, but... Um, uh, you've got a 2 and 4 powered by a, an RC12 thingy, the car there. 
Uh, you've got the RA272 that we want to be running. Um, what else have we got in here? Basically, it's just a case of looking through. The Roadster Touring car is in there. Um, Drakkers mentioned grabbing the Julia Sprint GT Veloce car. So there's plenty of cars to go for. Um, I think it's just a case of grabbing whatever one fits the bill. And we're going to get away on this one at 22... 30... No, 22.40. Because I want to get out on track and I want to put a little... I want to put a few laps in on this. Anybody that's on VR is in for a treat. An absolute treat. Whoa, shoo me. God, that does not stop like I was expecting it to. Ooh. That does not stop like I thought it would. Boy, oh boy. I'm used to racing this one on racing tyres. I wonder how many people are roaming this cockpit view. The other issue with this is you've got no brake lights to tell you what people are doing. Please also know that traction control has been disabled on this, which was a request. So that's going to catch a few people out as well. I so want to drive it in this view, but it's so hard. Whoa! <laughs> that is so hard in that view. I might go this view. I can do that view with racing tyres. Sports tyres. I just need more peripheral vision on the car and the, 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 the situation. It's in a cockpit view. Really, really, really hard. We've got four minutes. Let's just see if we can get a couple of laps in. Oh. oh I've overshot again. Got to work these breaking points out a bit more. This is why we're doing a 10 minute practice now. Drac, if you want in, get in now, mate. Somebody has just bumped out the room. Taffy's just left. Hopefully Drac is listening. Yay, Drax in the room. This is hard on these sports tyres. Really is. The, the reason for these changes on this car, and I think this is the first time we've run this in these changes, is it was decided that we didn't have traction control back in the day. Therefore, this car shouldn't have traction control on it. Also, that it didn't have modern day racing tyres on it. 
So that's the reason why we're on the sports soft tyres or sports tyres. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be a, this is going to be another difficult race for some of us, uh, meaning me. <laughs> um, right, so uh, we're on sports tyres. Any can be fitted. No need to pit. So this is going to be a straightforward sprint to the line. Uh, just as a heads up, people in the cars: Jack Kobe, David. Shumi, Gamer Dan, Jenki, Ernie Ball, Carlos, myself, Drat Fury, Aid, Jackie Boy, all in the correct car. Reese is in the Roadster Touring car, the, the Master Roadster Touring car. Junior is in a Sprinter Torino. GT Tom is also in a Roadster Touring car. And I'm not quite sure what Jones is in, but we are going racing. So hopefully he will be jumping in very, very quickly. I've got two spaces left. Did Drac get in? Drac is in. Um, so we've lost a couple of people on this one. Uh, but let's get this one underway. Um, because I said 2240. We're going at 2240. So Ninjas just said, is the car I got okay? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. Um, the Master Roaster will probably be better because there was a couple of others in there. But hey-ho, is what it is. It is what it is. Whoa, that's dark out here. Huge amount of fun this car. Proper, proper racing car. I am going to have to try it again. I want to use this view on this car. <laughs> and I can't I'm gonna go with this <laughs> I can't do it with that view it's so oh sorry Drac I so can't run this in that view I really really want to run it in the cockpit view because it's beautiful but so difficult. Oh, we're going to get a beautiful sunset. I've just got a bit of a worry, actually. I've got a real worry. I hope this isn't going to go into evening and night, because we've got no lights on this car. Oh, 
you really got to be careful with this. And whoa, treat it with respect. <laughs> right, see if we can put a time in. Certainly can't just jump on the accelerator on this one. Rotated, get it straightened up then on the power. God, oh, just look at that front suspension working. The animation on this thing is brilliant. He did done a good, good job on this one. <laughs> M-Tech is saying it's amazing in VR. This one, as I said earlier on, is an absolute treat for anybody running in VR. This track uh, with this light and this car is just stunning. Whoa, what a car, what a car, what a car. Definitely up there with one of our favourite races, this one. First time I did this, everybody was like, put it in a randomizer, put it in a randomizer. So we've got 11 of us in this car. I think we've got a few dropouts. I think we might have lost Jonesy and Ninja owing to uh, not bothering, can't use a car with power restricted. I don't know what that, that's about. Guys, if you haven't already, please smack the like button for the video. That would really, really, really help me no end. And thank you ever so much for everybody that is racing with me again this evening. It is very, very, very much appreciated. I'm um, just trying to see how many likes we've got, but... Um, I can't see for the moment. There we go. It'll be a nice surprise later on when I have a look. Right. Um, BOP should be on for this. Uh, yeah, BOP is on. Right. Let's get going, guys. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to be very interesting. There will be a few cars going off on this. I have no doubt. There could be some bumps because we've got no brake lights. So people don't know where people are braking, which means if you're following a car, you've got to be extra careful going into corners on this one. Extra careful going into corners. Right, good luck everybody. God, that was a long hold. Couple of people getting caught out by the torque steer off the line. 
I'm getting caught out on the brakes as usual into the first corner. This is going to be bunched up into this corner at the bottom here. Oh, I'm full into sec first gear to try and avoid people. Whoa, we've got cars all over the place into that corner. Just look at the um, constant velocity joints on the, uh, the back of this car. Running. Oh, it's beautiful. I, I put a smile on my face every time I'm out in this car, even if I can't drive it. You, there is no chance of talking and enjoying looking at the animation of the cars when you want to race this one. You really got to keep your eye on what you're doing. Even those that aren't commentating and running a stream are crashing. Right, let me let me concentrate. Where are we? I've got a car right behind me. Oh, whoa! No, no, no traction through there at all. Big, 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 big slide through there. Well, that was interesting, going through that corner. I have just lost my force feedback on my wheel. So I am running this with, oh no, this is really weird now. <laughs> oh my word I can't read it out I'm too I'm too busy trying to drive this but you got to you got to read Welsh boys last comment uh, it's something along the lines that if you're in VR and you crash into the car in front you end up closing your eyes because the exhaust pipes heading straight for your face <laughs> oh my gosh I tell you what's really sad is that that must have been real for the people driving these back in the day. They must have had the same thing. Oh, it's a wicked little battle going on up ahead. If we can get close to watch that, that would be wicked. We've got Jenki, Drac Fury. And all sorts going on up ahead. If we can get close to them, I'm going to enjoy this. I've got David really close up behind me as well. She closing on these guys up ahead. That's the corner I keep crashing on. David's probably behind me thinking, what on earth is this clown doing? It's all over the place. Uh, don't go in the gravel. Oh, there's no gravel there.
No, 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 no. Oh. Bother. Oh, I wanted to keep up with those guys up front. I wish the in-game chat would stay on for just a tad longer. Greg, this car is just sublime. I'm not doing it justice um, tonight. I can't drive it for Toppy. Because um, normally I drive this on the racing tyres, which is a lot, lot easier. I mean, hugely easier. But this makes it a lot more realistic. So I'm going to have to learn to drive this car on these tyres. And it just means you've got to be very, very, very respectful of the car. But this is a great car around this track. This car was made for the Red Bull ring, I tell you. It's also great around Goodwood as well. Greg is one of the new the new guys around here this is an example of the randomness that we do in our lobbies enjoying all of the cars in the game we don't just run GR cars we run all sorts on my discord there is a published list of the cars that are in the randomizer at the moment and I will update that from time to time as we have more cars in in fact, I'm probably due uh, an update to that list very, very, very soon. I think we put the, um, the little BMW went in there. Yeah, it's brilliant around Brands Hatch, Terry. Uh, I think there may well be a Brands Hatch Honda RA 272 in there. Because uh, that was the first time we ever ran, ran it was at Brands Hatch. RA272 check for Brands Hatch. I'll just do a double check and make sure that that is, that we do have it in Brands Hatch. Um, love that car. Very difficult to drive, uh, but absolutely brilliant fun. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant fun. Jack, are you enjoying our lobbies? You're getting out in some really different cars that I don't think you're used to. I can imagine you sit there scratching your head thinking what on earth is Mitchell Morgan doing throwing this race up and then you seem to come on the chat and go well that was fun <laughs> is there nothing you can't drive my friend oh. here we go let's have a little look and see how we did I'm afraid it's getting all a little bit familiar at the top of the, um, the table tonight which I really don't mind um, you got Jack Kobe with a 138.3 fastest lap and the win. Shimmy with a 138.9 in second. Gamer Dan with a 139.4 in third. Aiden fourth. Ernie Ball fifth. David sixth. Jack Fury seventh. Jenky Racing in eighth. I got ninth. 
Carlos in 10th, Jackie Boy in 11th, Reese 12th, Junior in 13th, and GT Tom. Now, the top three, Jack Kobe, Shumi, and Gamer Dan. Well done to the three of you. So, we now get into um, race number one. Um, well, I thought race number one was near the top. Yeah, it is. So in this one, we're in the uh, we're at Sardegna Road Track A. We're in the Genesis X GR3 car. If you don't have the Genesis X, then don't have any problem with you going for a GR3 car. But if you've got the Genesis X, let's do that. Uh, it's seven laps, custom weather. We're starting in the afternoon. Uh, fully random weather on this one. A grid start, fast if first. BOP is on. Uh, brake balance only uh, slipstream so all the normal i need to change all of the data to be light the tire wear and the fuel consumption on this is 20 and 14 fargo nice good night my friend aid good night as well good night everybody that is disappearing um yeah 20 and 14 tires and fuel and we're in a GR3 car, which is limited. And we're on uh, medium and soft tires, and you need to run both the medium and the soft tires. I'm gonna save the settings for this one, so it's a reverse grid. And we'll get out and get this one underway. Did you enjoy that RA272? It's cool, isn't it? It's a really good... Give me a double thumbs up if you really enjoyed that last race, both racing it and spectating it. It really is one of our favourites, that one. Not come up for ages, that race. Not for a long time. There we go. Up come the thumbs. Didn't think it would be long. <laughs> um, right, what car am I going to go with? On this one, um, I might go with Advantage, I think. And um, so we need the um, soft and the medium. doing hang on a minute i need the i need the the right car oh it needs to be the the gen x the genesis x oh, losing the plot losing the plot you got to course just reminding me genesis x genesis x you need the genesis x um the idiot that i am chose the wrong car um, so on this one, we are going to go uh, qualifier at um, 23. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to do this 05 because time is getting on a little bit for a few of us. And after this one, we will be heading off to the Nord Cipher. Um, uh, Jack, I'm uh, going to have to have a break, guys. Thanks for racing tonight. You're welcome, my friend. You are welcome. We've still got 14 or 16 runners at the moment, so we've still got quite a few. I am going to get out on track for a moment. Uh, we've got two minutes, so I'm possibly going to get one very quick lap in. Just to get to grips with this car. Did you guys know what I'm like with the GR3 cars? I am absolutely hopeless.
Gentle on the accelerator. There's so much running in the GR4 where you just jump on it. Once you start getting in the RA272 and then in this, you've got to be so much more careful on the accelerator. Boy, oh boy, that did not want to slow down. Twenty three oh five. We said twenty three oh five. It is. It looks like everybody is set to go. We've got thirteen runners in this one, so let's get this one underway. Qualifying is going to be starting in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that's nice, you've got a mirror in the dashboard in this one. Yeah, I like the Audi DTM car. It's good around here as well. I use that for grinding sometimes. Pretty sure it's that one. I haven't run this track for so long, I can't remember the braking points. Whoa! Just trying to get the tyres down, it's impossible. Remember the power to steering ratio, Mitchell. All important on the GL3s.
quite a lot of this one is just keeping it out of the barriers. I'll tell you what, whoever's in that beetle's pretty quick. Should have come out there in second, not first. No, 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 don't go around. Oh, it was Mr. Fury who was behind me. Right, there we go. That is going to be your order. Looks like we uh, potentially managed to get six, but there's quite a few people running yet, so we could well be bumped down the order. Um, most people are in the Genesis X, with the exception of Drat Fury and the Beeple. I can't see anybody past 12. Um, Yeah, fuel and tyres on this one. Uh, oh, I'm getting bumped down the order. Seventh, I think, I ran, ran into there. Um, so you've got reverse grid, which, oh, I bumped way, way, way down the order there. So we are going to go with car settings. I'm going to start off the racing mediums. And just as a reminder to everybody uh, that is listening, medium and soft tyres are required. We need to run both compounds. I'm going to get this one underway. Let's get going. Good luck, guys. Bit of a um, bit of a melee into there. Now he's sorry. I think I got uh, pushed a little bit into that one. I've uh, backed out and let him through. But that whole first lap, that uh, first corner was a bit uh, a bit difficult.
think I need to get out here grinding a bit more. Get familiar with this track again. Especially in that uh, GR3 car. Or the BMW VGT that I think I normally do this in. tell uh, trying on this one gone very quiet we've got somebody in the pits already oh a little bit of a knock for the two cars up front oh I broke a little bit too late for that one managed to get it slowed down or mtech into the barrier a bit loose on the exit too that's given Jenky an opportunity just to get away a little bit I wasn't quite close enough to uh, capitalise on that one. Oh, MTech into the wall. Jenky looks like he may well have been on the grass as well. Look very, very loose on the exit there. And an opportunity to close up. We got um, five five laps to do. Okay, that strategy is not going to play out. Not quite like I thought it was going to. Should have stayed on those hard, those medium tyres longer. It's uh, fuel's going to catch me out big time, I think. You think two, three? Well, let me just get down here, get this sorted out, and then I'll um, 
I think. Isn't 2 3 a little bit too aggressive? I'm going to go with my pit crew. Oh, Jenkins really slow through there. I nearly ran into the back of him. Oh! I think that fuel mix is too aggressive. I've got to do three laps and I've only got two laps of fuel left. Oh. Jack Coat, uh, show Janky throwing me up a load of stones <laughs> as he puts a uh, foot into the gravel or a tyre I should say, not a foot. Cars don't have feet. Find ourselves in fifth now. Just rotating behind Jenky for the moment. Hopefully, with a bit of slipstreaming, it might be saving a little bit of fuel. Whoa, just got into the back of him there. Sorry, Jenky. 
just back down to that one for a second. So we've got 1.2 of fuel for one lap. Shumi going through. Fourth, oh, fourth behind the three guys that have really been dominating tonight. I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with that. And uh, the fuel management was okay, I think, in that one. Um, forgive me, Jack. I think that the fuel mix 2-3 was a little bit strong towards the end. But I think we hit the uh, we hit the sweet spot quite nicely there. Um, I enjoyed that one. There's a lot of thought you have to put into that particular race you really do um, right so how did we do on that one how did we do on that race um uh, gamer dan tops the podium on this occasion with a 142.7 uh, shumi takes the honors for fastest lap with a 141.3 uh, jack kobe takes the third of the three podium steps with a 144.9 I managed to get fourth, Jenky fifth, Jack Fury sixth, Ernie Ball seventh, Reese in eighth, GT Tom in ninth, M Tech in tenth, Dowie Motorsport in eleventh, and David in twelfth. But your top three there Gamer Dan, Shumi, and Jack Kobe. Well done. Well done, all of you. That's, um, that's a tough old race. Give me a thumbs up if you like that one. Uh, I, I really do like the ones where you get a bit of strategy that gets uh, thrown into the mix. Um, it really does spice things up, in my opinion. Um, right, I haven't got... I haven't got the Nürburgring set up yet in here. So I'm going to very, very, very quickly set this up. Uh, we're going to go two laps. Um, I'm going to go with um, preset weather. So we're going for a straightforward run. Um, grid start, slowest first um i'm actually for this one i'm going to do a rolling start on this one uh bop that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine we'll take the um fuel down to one and the tires down to one as well uh, i've called those out around the wrong way but that really doesn't matter we're in a gr4 car this time on this particular one uh we'll go for gr3s tomorrow and um, I think normally I'll be doing GR1, sorry, GR4 on a Monday, GR2 on a Tuesday, GR3 on a Wednesday, GR4 on a Thursday. And then whatever we're running on the Friday, we'll do on the Friday. I think that's probably what we're going to do. Um, you can have whatever tyres you want. There's no need to pit. And everything else is all hunky-dory. I'm going to save those settings uh, where can I save them? Um, 
I'm going to have to save them on daily race C, so we overwrite that one. We'll call this um, Nurburgring. And uh, yeah, we'll um, we will get underway with this one um, fairly quickly. Obviously, uh, those of us are getting to know the track, but um, obviously it's uh, not one that we can do a qualifying on. And I've just messed that up as well. Um, we'll go at 35 and I need to make ooh, a quick change to be practice some race we'll save those settings so I've got this for next time uh, get the right one Mitchell load the settings Nurburg ring got people joining at the moment I'll just keep trying until I can make that change there we go. Uh, glad to call. Cheers, Mitch and chat. Uh, catch you all next time. Good night, my friend. Good night, good night, good night. Um, uh, Jack Kobe, disappearing too. Thank you very much for being with us this evening. Uh, Jack Fury had people bashing him off. Uh, but uh, All of you that are leaving, uh, thank you ever so much for racing with us this evening. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Maybe even as early as tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go with... What am I going to go with? Um, do you know what? Just because... It's rub it's, it's a bit of a silly choice. But I'm, I'm going to go with a Veyron. Just, just for a laugh. Just for a laugh. Um, Jack, this will be the last race. Yeah, this will be the last one of the night for me. Um, I was going to try and do a, a little bit more at uh, San Croix, but to be quite honest, I'm starting to feel a bit tired, so I'm going to call it a night after this one. And Thankfully, we've actually been through, by keeping the schedule running fairly quickly, we've got through the full list of races. So we did San Croix, the feature race, we did the sprint race, we did uh, Maggio, we then did Red Bull, um, we've just done Sardegna and then we're heading off onto the Nord Slifer. Drac Fury says it's Croissant. Saint Croissant. No it isn't. Surely not. He's winding me up. Surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Surely not. Um, Okay, so we're starting this one at 23.35, so three minutes. I'm just going to have a little bit of a break. Uh, it'd be crazy if it was so croissant, wouldn't it? That would be fun. So it looks like Jack Kobe might have run out of fuel and uh, Shumi possibly got him on the line, I think. Um, been a good stream tonight. I've actually enjoyed it. If uh, if you've enjoyed it, if, either if you're racing or watching, uh, give me a double thumbs up. Let me know. Uh, Drac Fury got his SR battered in the dailies. I've not gone near the dailies this week. I noticed that uh, Rory earlier on is saying that they're really good this week. Um, but I'm steering clear of the dailies. I want to concentrate on the STCC for the moment. Um, so I'm going to concentrate on that until we finish. It's another three weeks. Uh, then I think we're finished. Um, and then in late July, I'm going to be getting much, much, much more into the dailies. Um, that is the route that I want to go. Uh, and um, I'm still going to be doing the lobbies in the evening. The same as we do now, uh, now at nine o'clock, Monday to Friday. But I do want to find some time, preferably during the day to do an hour or two of dailies just to see if we can get that up. Uh, incidentally, some of you were watching me on um, Saturday, I think it was, doing the dailies, and you asked what happened with my DR rating. I can tell you. It stayed exactly the same. Didn't move. Despite having a win, the win was offset by a few difficult races. 
where I got um, into some 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 incidents and the DR didn't move at all. I got the two images, I overlaid them and it didn't move. <laughs> so all that Saturday, even getting the victory, really trying hard, all for nothing. <laughs> Not for nothing, because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that, that day of racing and it's got me back in the mindset that I want to get back into the dailies and work hard. Um, but one of the things that everybody, all of you guys tell me, it's all about the quality. If you can qualify in, I think, the top four, you can get away from the rest, have a decent race, keep it clean, and I think you can then progress. What I then find is I go up a pixel, I then get put into um, better lobbies, and then mid-pack... And that's when I end up getting bumped or into problems and then I drop backwards. Then I find that the DR drops back. I then qualify in like fourth or something. I have a good, so I'm having a good race, bad race, good race, bad race. And that seems to have been the way that it's been for me for about six months. Every time I try the daily races, that's exactly what happens to me. And um, I'm not going to lie, it is doing my head in, um, but I have got to learn to qualify better. Right, let's um, let's get this one underway. Um, good luck, everybody. Drak Fury said, "Did you get that clip?" Um, I don't know if I'm out of kilter or whether it is the clip that he put up where Jack Kobe went across the bridge between everybody. Oh, what a move that was! Cars everywhere. Basically, we come across the bridge. I caught the back of somebody and went across the track cars everywhere behind me and then Jack Kobe just went through the middle of us all. It was wicked. Okay, can anybody see the deliberate error that I've just made while I was jibber jabbering? Oh! Who's going to tell me what my first uh, major error is? Tyres, yes or for later? Tyres. Yours truly has decided to come out. Hi Billy, I hope uh, yours truly has decided to come out and do the Nordschleifer on hard racing tyres. Oh man, come on. What are you playing at Mitchell? What are you doing? My driving, I tell you what, I can't drive up to the top of you around here. Trevor, what you, oh Terry, even what you're gonna find is I can't stream and drive. I really, really struggle to stream and drive. I'm getting better, but it's taken me a long, long, long time to work the channel, work the stream, check everything's all okay, making sure that nothing's going wrong, nobody's saying anything they shouldn't be. La 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 la, like so much stuff going on to watch and race. It's just so difficult. Now, my dilemma is do I come in and change the tyres? Or do we just try and have a race with the guys up front here? Come on, come on, come on, keep this together. I just popped the track map on so I can 
to see where the track is going. I'm still, I'm learning it, but still not learning it quick enough. My old brain is taking forever to get this track in my head. Terry says you're doing a great job thanks for doing it most enjoy thank you thank you thank you most enjoyable thank you I really appreciate that it's nice to know that people are enjoying it because it's it's difficult to know what the balance is and I haven't got silly you haven't seen a silly Mitchell in a while it's all got a little bit serious I think the silly Mitchell needs to come out on Friday we're in the Subarus and Mitsubishis, I think. Um, I need something to happen to flick that switch in my head that says, go into silly mode. It'll happen. Oh boy, oh boy, it'll happen at some point. Don't you worry about that. Daddy, keep going. Go, no, don't you indicate. You turn your indicator off, my friend. You stop. I want you to block me and stop me from coming past you. Go on, the PCP. That must be horrendous. I used to have a PCP, but I haven't got a clue where it is now. Right. Where am I going to make my my move on? Uh... That's such a long name. I'm going to call him DMS from now. Dowie Motorsport. DMS. Do you know what? I'm actually going for it and I'm... S oh, no, no. Bind it, bind it, bind it. No, that's going to let him get away. No, 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 no. Come on, get round, get round, get round. I'm going to have to go catch him now. I want to catch him before the long straight. I want to bump draft him down the straight. Oh, dirty tyres. Really dirty tyres. How far is he? Ten seconds. Right, let's really go for this. Even though I've got the wrong tyres, and absolutely go for it. How far away is he? Still ten. Oh, these tyres got no grip whatsoever on some of these corners. Well, we eight seconds. catch him before the end of the lap so do you think I should stay I need to stay on these tyres really don't I I mean it's going to kill the race oh 
What a mistake and a maker. Come out in the wrong tyres. Somebody actually made my day earlier on. Uh, one of my comments somewhere, it was um, that we enjoy watching you because you're so hopeless <laughs> at driving. It makes a refreshing change from watching all of the brilliant use, uh, tubers that can drive so well and make it look so easy. It's nice that I am crashing all the time like other people are. actually made me feel a bit better <laughs> oh damn it. no I followed him off oh, why is it that whenever I have a crash I always end up facing the wrong way right let's catch up with him now that wasn't my fault that was DMS's fault that was he, he took me off I followed him. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Right. Got loss of rear downforce. Oh, massive loss of rear downforce. Oof. So, not only have I got the wrong tyres, but I've got no downforce on this car whatsoever. It's like on ice as soon as you get damage on this. Right, come on, clean up the damage, please. Where is he? He's 12 seconds down the road now. All I want to do is catch him the bomb draft him down the uh, down the main straight. He's too fast for me. Well, the lesson for today. The Veyron might not have been the best car to choose, but please guys, check the tyres you've got on your car before you go on track. Because if you put the wrong tyres on, boy oh boy, are you in trouble. As am I. Now he's now whoa, 15 seconds down the road. Just up shifting a bit on the old um, rev counter, up shifting early. Oh, it just does not want to go through somebody's tight corners you've got to really slow it down where is he thing is it's annoying I can I look up at the track map and oh he's just in front of me then I look down at the time and he's like 14 seconds away still 15 seconds it's like what say what slow it down this is like driving a tank on ice it's like dancing on ice in a tank I 
come to the conclusion I don't like I don't like racing hard tyres. Truth is, I thought I'd put racing hards on here because I knew I needed some practice on racing hard tyres. There you go. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to that. Where is he? Eight seconds away. Well, we close the gap a little bit. Not enough, but a little bit. Down to seven. Come on, keep it together. Is he? Yeah, yes, I see him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, big old slide through there. Oh, crikey. That was a uh, squeaky bottom moment, that was. He's right there. Keep it on the track, Mitchell. Come on. Got us down one already. Holy banana cakes. How on earth have those guys finished already? That just shows how bad I was around here in this car. We're not going to catch DMS either. We're struggling. Wow, Drac, last to fifth. That's pretty darn cool. Nice result, mate. Oh, we didn't get to finish it. <laughs> Oh, I picked the wrong car. I picked the wrong tyres. That was uh, that was a, an example of what happens when you don't think about the car you're in and you don't think about the tyres you're in, blah, blah, blah. But there we go. There we go. There we go. Right. Um, I'm a bit tired as well, if I'm perfectly honest. So Gamer Dan was your winner with a 704.3. Reese in second with a 705.4. Ernie Ball in third with a 712.05. And then fourth place was Smokey, Drac Fury in fifth, Jenky in sixth, Jackie Boy in seventh, uh, Dowie Motorsport in eighth, I managed to get ninth, and M Tech was a DNF on that one. But your top three, and it did look like a really nice battle up the front uh, for a time, was Game of Dan, Reese, and Ernie Ball. Well done to you all. And you looked really close between Ernie Ball and Smokey. Look at that, three tenths of a second on the line nice 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 right okay then that is me done for the evening i am afraid uh i am a little bit tired and i've got a heck of a lot on tomorrow um work wise so i need to have my brain in gear from uh nine o'clock first thing in the morning in fact they're going to be starting a little bit before nine o'clock tomorrow um so we will be back tomorrow evening at nine o'clock i don't know what we're going to be doing because i need to get the randomizer sorted out on my other machine i think got to get it moved across to this one and um i also need to um sort out the data and stuff like that so we might have the randomizer tomorrow night we might not i'm going to do my my level best to do it uh, and get it sorted out um before then so that really just leads me to say, um, Greg says, apologies if caused you to go off behind that car is a handful and definitely need to have a look and set up very oversteery. Don't you worry about that, my friend. You've got nothing to apologize for. Um, you went off. I followed you off. That's all on me. That is nothing to do with you. That was my own mistake. I was too busy enjoying watching you drive and just followed you in. Uh, one of the lessons to learn is don't 
follow the car in front. Don't drive the car in front. You need to drive the track. So in other words, watch for your braking points, your turning points. Uh, be aware of where the other car is. But if he's going to crash, you're going to crash as well if you're following him. If you are driving the track rather than driving the car in front and he crashes, there's a good chance you're going to get by and you'll be fine. Not always, depending on how close you are. Uh, in that instance, my friend, I was driving the car, not the track. Uh, there we go. So um, anyway, uh, I just want to really say thank you ever so much for everybody that's for racing with me this evening. I hope that you have a good day, evening, night, morning, whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world. Have a really, really great day or a great night. And hopefully I'll see you back here tomorrow at around about nine o'clock if you haven't already please smack that like button on the way out if you're new around here please subscribe and thank you ever so much for everybody that is a member of the channel that is subscribing and supporting me with racing every single night um, i love you all to bits and i'll see you tomorrow for now that's me i'm going to stop rambling au revoir good night god bless